up you guys welcome back to a brand new video as you can tell by the title we are doing another snack crate video so let's get into it i'm really hoping this one has a drink in it because i added the drink i don't think you did what are you hoping this is what is it what are these countries mm. um guam it's not a country <laughs> so that's a joke right there so here we go you guys get the first look as always Pakistan? What does that say? Oh, road trip. Road trip? Oh, this is America. Ooh. Oh, the United States. So we're going on a road trip through. A I was so confused. Like, what does that say? I was. Past the ox. Route 66. Let's go. All right, so we've learned about the United States a little bit. So it says this month we're going on a road trip. While planning your trip, it is also essential to consider what the U.S. offers aside from the Empire State Building and the Golden Gate Bridge. Each state has its own unique set of landmarks and landscapes found off the beaten path from relaxing natural hot springs in Colorado mountains to swampy bayou boats tours in Louisiana. You can make a road trip around the whole country. There's 30 times to still find a new place to explore. Fun facts. Oregon and New Jersey are the only states that you cannot pump your own gas at. Remember to tip your attendant kindly. I knew that about Oregon. And beef jerky, one of the most popular road trip snacks in the U.S., was first created by the Native Americans. They called it charqui, or charqui, or burned meat. Don't tell them we're gonna have beef jerky. No, we'll see. Each year, about 53% of American families embark on a road trip every year. That's pretty crazy. More than half of the uh, people. Year. But Yosemite National Park in California is the oldest national park. It is. It also contains the three out of the ten of the United States' tallest waterfalls. I uh, haven't been there. Would like to go. Live in California, so. An average road trip across the United States can last up between 2,500 to 3,500 miles and take about four days. Interesting. That'd be cool to do one day, but it's a long, it's a long. I mean, obviously we're stopping mm -hmm. and staying overnight somewhere, but. That's a lot of miles too. Yeah. I wonder if it's just there or like there and back. I don't know, but pretty cool. So now let's see what we got though. So I showed you guys oh, that's the cool cute. packaging that they had. Yeah, I just hit you in your chin on <laughs> yeah. Got a Route 66 sticker. They saw it. <laughs> All right, so perfectly just like on top, we got chips. These chips don't look like they're from here, mm -hmm. just because I've never seen them. But from our city, at least, or um, state. So this looks. Oh, oh, contains no seafood. Okay. Uh, so this stuff looks more like kind of old-fashioned type stuff. So we got some chips, chips. Oh, what is this thing? This thing looks terrible. Oh yeah, that's a cookie. You they normally you get them in the smaller ones at like the store. Ooh, I'm not feeling. I don't know. United States. You guys didn't really pick the the fire stuff. So we got an elk and pork snack stick. Ooh. Ooh, I'm allergic to elk. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we looks like we got some decent stuff. Nothing crazy. A lot of older stuff. Ooh, uh, tuna jerky, wow. Based on this, America might be the worst. Uh -huh. I don't know why, they did not put in the fire. No, not at all. I don't know what, but I get why they're doing this though, because this is a road trip. They're picking stuff, I guess, that's related to the state, in a way, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. So let's get into it. That's all I can tell you. All right, so, per usual, you get to pick first. Yeah. Let's get it. I'm gonna go with this cactus candy. So it's a gummy from Arizona. So it looks like we are headed to Arizona first. Arizona desert. Let's get it. This has to be the worst box ever. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were little gummies instead of gummy. Come on. <laughs> you got you got ugly hair on mine. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh. Kind of falls apart. That is not a gummy. Like instantly. <laughs> it's very sugary. But I don't really taste the sugar. It's just like there. There's a taste, but I don't know what it is. It's not terrible though. Just that they're tangy and sweet. Prickly pear cactus. <laughs> Anyways though, what'd you think about that? I didn't like it. I would probably give that a two and a half. Yeah, I don't think it was that terrible, but it wasn't, yeah, it was okay. I'll probably give it like a four. I say we get rid of this jerky already, this tuna jerky. It's crazy how small the pieces are. It reminds me of like, this is like cat, uh, like uh, treats. Ew. That's what it reminds me of. You think Oakley should try it? No. Yeah, so. It's ahi tuna. 
It's from uh This is Hawaii. Yeah. So we're going back west. This is not gonna be a road trip that makes sense. We're gonna go all over the place, but not in order. Cause we don't really know where all these are from. So we're going back west to Hawaii. It's a traditional Hawaiian snack. It has a zesty, salty flavor, making it a great fuel bite, fuel up bite. All right, so we're just gonna grab. I just want the smallest piece no, ever. No, 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 no. We're cutting this one in half and we're eating the whole thing. All right, ready? <coughs> Ready? Seriously, put the whole thing in your mouth. I can't. Seriously, come on. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two. It's probably gonna be as bad as you think. <laughs> Ready? <Right>. One, <gasps> two, three. Uh, no. Look at that good jerky. Ugh. No. It's not terrible. It's terrible. It tastes like beef jerky for the most part, but then it you, you get a little, mm, it, it, I feel like it's still for cats. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah, it's not very good. I, I was struggling to get through it towards the end. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. This was, what, so what would you give this? I'd give it a zero. I'd probably give this a two. So it looks like this is the worst start we've had out of any place. <laughs> and I was, Oakley. Oakley just hit the camera, but. And I was looking forward to United States just because it's where we're from. Mm -hmm. And we know all the snacks that typically people eat. This is not stuff that pe people typically eat in 2020. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> okay, so next I think I'm going to pick this, Aunt Sally's Crayol Praline. Ooh, that can't be too bad. Pretty hard. It's from New Orleans, Louisiana. So it looks like we're going far east, south, far east, southeast. These treats from Louisiana are a stretchy cluster of buttery caramel and crunchy pecans. Don't forget to bring a toothpick. Ooh. It might get stuck in your teeth. Creamy classic. I feel like this one's gonna be pretty good. If you like pecan and caramel. Oh wait, is it just all caramel? The whole thing? I don't know. It's hard, huh? Oh, it is. Uh, I'm not gonna be that good then. I'm, I like caramel, but I'm not a fan of just like a whole thing of caramel. I feel like it's gonna be super sweet. Let's go. One, two, three. Yeah, I know. My first bet was straight into a pecan. Mm -mm. I don't think I like pecan. It's so sweet. It's just too much. I'm struggling to swallow this. I'll probably give this like a four and a half. I give this like a three. Come on, you let's get it together. I don't understand, man. I gotta get something normal. So I gotta go for some chips. <laughs> I have to. I'm gonna go with this, regular potato chips. Better made special since 1930. Have we been showing them the packages? Butter made? Yeah, better made. These spicy sweet chips from Michigan are more than just your average barbecue chip. Michiganders insisted they be included. Oh. So I like barbecue chips. Well, if it was in insist to put it into the box, it better be good. Especially if they're spicy. There ain't nothing in this hoe. All right, so these look good. They look like they got a lot of flavor on them. Yep. So one, two, three. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mm no, this is where it's at. It's a little salty. I don't taste salt. They're so light and airy too. Mm -hmm. I'll take these over Lay's any day. The Lay's barbecue ones. Oh no. No way. Yes way. All right, so what'd you give this in? I'll give it a 10. Are you serious? <laughs> this is the best thing you've ever had of all the boxes? Well, I mean, apart from the spicy noodles. I don't know. I still dream about it. I'd probably this. give this like a six. There's, I'd rather, there's so many chips rather have than this. It's still good, but no, no way. All right, uh, just to get it out of the way, all the weird stuff, I'm going with this elk and what, pork? Yeah, <clears throat> and stick? I don't eat pork. <clears throat> or elk. Well, I've had elk <clears throat> Yeah, I don't eat elk or pork, but I'll do it for this. At least it's grass-fed. Elk used grass-fed and grass-fed? The pork just eats humans and all that. Why would you say that? That's what they do. We're about to eat it. Pigs eat anything. Oh, and it says you're what you eat. Hashtag you're what you eat. You're a pork. And I'm a gazelle. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm gonna help. Chewy and satisfying, these elk jerky sticks from New Mexico are packed with great flavor and protein. Take a bite. Oh, uh, <laughs> it smells like cat food. It smells like humans. I need this box.
It's actually not that bad. So, I mean... But I would never eat it because I don't eat elk. I mean, you know, it just, just tastes like beef jerk. I mean, uh, Slim Jim type stuff, <clears> so... It kind of tastes like turkey. I'm not the biggest fan. I, I mean, I, I don't really like Slim Jims even, either way. But the fact that I don't eat pork and stuff, that really throws me off. It's like stuck in my throat. I haven't had a pork. I haven't <clears> had pork... In forever. Like, how long? Way be like before you, obviously. <laughs> No, but I feel like five years, six years. I don't know, because apparently I didn't know you. You didn't know me. I was vegan before I met you. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But it's been so long, and that just throws me off. I'm not, I don't eat pork like that. don't ever care to. So, I mean, what, like, what would you give it? I'd probably still give it a five, because it tastes like turkey, and I don't like turkey. I'd probably give it, like, a five, too. It wasn't terrible. I can see <clears throat> people liking that. Yeah, it's just not for me. All right, so next, I got to go with... I feel like next, like all we have left are sweets beside the chips. Yeah. So... I say we save this for last. I feel like there's always something gotta save for last, right? Now it gotta be this, yin yang. I say we just go with the Idaho. No, you wanted to try that, so we'll save that second to last. So we'll do this. You can't tell me what I can't pick. <laughs> so we'll do this one. Uh, Abba Zabba, oh. Chewy Taffy, Peanut Butter Center. Um, is this the stuff people say you, they like to freeze and eat it? Probably. Salty peanut butter coated inside a thick layer of chewy sweet taffy. The perfect flavor balance exists. Thank you, California. You're All right, welcome. So this is from California. Annabelle's Abba Zabba. Annabelle. Let's get it. All right, I don't think it's something you can even bite. Ooh. 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 It says it's soft and chewy. I think it is like. It's probably cold. You, yeah. Should we microwave it for a few no, seconds? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I don't think my teeth can handle that. <laughs> it's really bad for your teeth. I got like the smallest piece and it got stuck to my teeth. Um, it's not <laughs> bad though. <clears throat> but when you get the biggest bites. I didn't really get to try it. It's not bad though. It's, you have like the, the peanut butter taste to it, but <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. I'll probably give it like a six. So it just tastes like peanut butter? No, there's definitely something else, maybe vanilla or something. I don't know. Mm. I mean, I'll say a six. I just think if you do get it or try it, definitely beware. That thing is will rip your teeth right out. Or if you've had it before, let us know it, like what's the best way to eat it and if it gets stuck to your teeth. So I'm gonna go with the Idaho Spud. No, we're saving that. No, you're saving it. <laughs> okay, the Idaho Spud, the candy bar that put Idaho on the map. That's a stretch, but the fluffy chocolatey flavor infused with coconut flakes is heavenly. So I don't like coconut at all. Like at all. Coconut's all right. But oh my goodness, and it's <laughs> oh I filled. thought it said it was inside. And it's filled with coconut. Oh, it's this is like marshmallow. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> the only thing you really taste is coconut with like a hint of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I hate everything about coconut. The flavor, the texture. I like when I chew down on it, how it feels, I how like it how sounds. I like how it's crunchy, I like that part. The inside of it throws it off, just cause it doesn't look attractive or good. Mm -hmm. But if you really like coconut, this is for you and chocolate mixed together. But otherwise, if you don't, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I'd probably give that like a four and a half or five. I'd probably give it like a two. <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, so far our ratings for the US have been garbage. <laughs> nothing has been like, besides the chips. Mm -hmm. Nothing has been very good. I'm gonna go with the Goo Goo Cluster. This is the original one. Uh, peanut, caramel, and marshmallow nougat covered in milk chocolate. Because there's, it's original because there's like two other flavors. There's like a caramel one and something else. Ooey gooey candy clusters from Tennessee filled with caramel, peanut, peanuts, and marshmallows coated in chocolate. I think this one's gonna be really good. Yeah, me too. I think I've had this before. So you're a cheater. No. All right, one, two, three. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's actually really good. Except I don't like how the caramel sticks to your teeth. Yeah, but it's not as bad. I like that. I'd give this like a eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half for sure. I'm so excited because we finally got something like that's worthy. worthy. <clears throat> All right, so next I'm gonna go with the Marsh's Homemade Premium Quality Buckeyes. They look like macadamia, but I'm going with this one so we don't have two 
sweet things at the end. Yeah. Mix it up. It's called Buckeyes. They might literally resemble a Buckeye, a Buck's eye, but these chocolatey peanut butter balls from Ohio are so creamy they melt on your mouth. Yeah, I don't like peanut butter and chocolate really. And just the way they made it to look like a Buck's eye, like. <laughs> and they even put like a little hole. Can you guys see it on the top? Or that could be where the bugs, you know, the. Can you stop? You have to get the peanut butter too. One, two, three, go. Oh, it's softer than what I thought. It just tastes like a Reese's cup. Not a fan. Like a five and a half. I'm not a big fan of peanut butter. I'll probably give like a three. A three? Yeah, I hate Reese's. Oh, yeah. I don't like chocolate and peanut butter. So clearly we're going with this one. Some chips again. The spicy briny taste that makes crabs so delicious is now captured in, ch in chip form from Virginia. Old Bay, am I right? Old Bay is like a seasoning if you didn't know. So this is contains no seafood. So they look good. These actually look like more like the barbecue chips that you find in Lay's. Yeah. Rather than the other ones were like reddish. These are kettle too, huh? I think so. But uh, I guess let's try it. Wow. I did not like that. <laughs> There's a lot of flavor like. <laughs> It's so strong. Yeah, and I don't like that. Those chips are very weird. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd give that like a three. It's not very good. I'd probably give that one like a four. Four and a half. Trash. It's, yeah. But moving on. Ooh, it's soft at the bottom. Last but not least. Joey's black and white. Yin yang. These soft and fluffy. Yin yang, mine. These soft and fluffy cookies from New York will put you in an empire state of mind. Separate. Separate the sides or eat them as one. It's all up to you. We're gonna eat it as one. Ooh, this is gonna be good. All right, so piece of that. Piece of us. Mm, piece of that. All right, one, two, three. Oh, that's not fair. I tried my chocolate. <laughs> of course, not bad. Nothing crazy. Alright. What'd you give it? Six. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think six is good for that. Um, so yeah, that <clears throat> was the last one. How do you feel about your road trip across America? Not good. I would not go back on that road trip. Yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. I don't know. I get why they did what they did to give us a taste of like a state, but I feel like even in those states, people still eat the regular stuff. Doritos, Hot Cheetos. Takis. Uh, like Snickers and Skittles, Skittle, like regular stuff. And again, I don't know if all that stuff is just American. Maybe that stuff's made other places, but. I feel like it's not fair to do it with snacks. I'd rather do it with food. That'd be so much better. Yeah, oh, for sure. Cause there's so many different cultures and stuff. And that leads us to our next point. Um, if you would like us to try other like snack things or whatever like that, comment down below and we can try Also, that. But also comment down below if you guys know of any companies or anything that does stuff like this like the snack that's not crate. a snack crate it's whatever else it is like you don't know what's coming you just know it's like just let us know the, the companies down below <laughs> yeah. if you guys know of any but um california is definitely at the bottom on my list of stuff we've tried so far <laughs> this year or this california you mean the road trip <laughs> the i mean uh, the united states is definitely at the bottom <laughs> united states is definitely the bottom just because it wasn't just wasn't it. Mm -mm. It was not it. I don't know. But I, don't, I wonder what we're going to get next just because it. it has to be better than this. Mm -hmm. And it better be. <laughs> but anyway, though, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a like. We appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already. And also comment down below if you've tried any of this stuff um, and your thoughts on them. Or if you would try it. Or if you're a normal American and eat the normal American stuff because mm -hmm. this ain't it. But yeah, just let us know. And if you're from another country or anything and you guys have tried this or you would like to try it, let us know down below. But either way though, uh, my name is Matt. My name's Nicole. This is Oakley. And, <laughs> and that, that was, was a piece of us. One.